In today's Shopify tutorial for beginners, I will be showing you everything you need to know to set up a top selling Shopify store from scratch for a dropshipping store or even an e-commerce business. So by the end of this video, you will be able to launch your own very successful Shopify store and sell any kind of products. So let's get started. To get started, we first need to claim our 30 day free trial for just $1 by clicking the first link in the description of this video or by simply going to proluxer.com slash Shopify. Now on this page, you're gonna type in your email address and click start free trial. Now here skip the survey by clicking on skip all. After that select your country and click next. Now here create your login credentials and click login. After that Shopify will start generating our store. Ok now we can finally start building our Shopify store but we're gonna start by setting up the backend first. So first let's choose our Shopify theme by going to online store and then click on themes. As you can see by default our Shopify store uses the dawn theme. But to make our Shopify store stand out a little bit more, we can choose any of these themes. To find more themes, you can click on visit theme store and then from here you can choose either free or paid themes. For this tutorial, I will be using a free theme called Sans, which is one of the best free Shopify themes out there in my opinion. So click add and also click on publish. Ok, now we'll move on to the next step which is adding products to our Shopify store. But first we're gonna create our product collections to better organize the store. So go to products and click on collections. By default we have this homepage collection but we'll be removing it by selecting it first and then click on delete collection. Ok, next we're going to create our new collection. On title type in the name of your collection and then on description type you can choose manual because we will be manually adding products to our collection later. If you want you can also upload your images here but I'll be skipping that for now. Ok once you've done click on save and then click here to go back. After that just create as many collections as you need. Ok now we can finally add products to our Shopify store. So go to products and click on add your products. Now on title simply type in the name of your product and then on description type in what your product does. If you don't know how to write great product descriptions you can simply use chat GPT to help you come out with great ideas. Ok, once you've done writing your product description, next you want to go ahead and change the status of your product from active to draft. We are literally doing this because if you hit the save button, your product will go live straight away. Next go to media and upload your images. If you want, you can also rearrange your images to make them look more organized. Next go to product organizations to choose your product category and then on collections choose the category to which your product belongs to. Now here type in the price of your product. It's optional to use the compared price but the reason I really like to use it is because it gives customers the sense of saving money while purchasing products and it also increases conversions. Next, you can use the cost per item to help you calculate the profit margins of your product. Next, let's go to inventory and type in how many items are available. Ok, now check mark the SKU. For those who don't know, an SKU is a code that identifies a product in store's inventory. It can help you track sales and manage your inventory levels. So to identify your product, you can type in 001. 002 or any number you want. Next go to shipping and type in the weight of your product. Once done click on save and then go back to add more products. 
Okay, once you've added your products, you are finally ready to publish your products by changing the status from draft to active. So check mark this option to select all of your products and then click on set as active. Next, let's create a header in the footer for your Shopify store. So go to online store and click on navigation. As you can see, we have these basic menus. To create a new header menu, click on add menu. For your new menu on title, you can type in new main menu. After that, go to add items. And then on link, you can choose specific pages you want to showcase in your header. So first, I will be selecting the home page. And then on name, you can adjust the label. Once done, simply click on add. And then repeat the same process to add as many pages as you want. For now, I will be adding the cat's collection. The dog's collection. And the contact page. Once done, click on save menu, click here to go back, and there you have it. Okay, now I'll be showing you how you can customize the footer menu, but before we do that, we first need to create our legal pages so we will be able to assign those into this menu. So go to settings, scroll down, and click on policies. Now to create policies, simply use Shopify template policies and then adjust it and then adjust them to your needs. Once you've done, click on save and then go back to the navigation tab. Now here select footer menu and click add menu item. Now go to link, policies. And then here select your legal pages one by one. Next you can rearrange these items. And then you can also remove any item you don't want by clicking on delete from your footer. Once done, click on save menu and there you go. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how you can customize your Shopify store. So let's go to online store and then click on customize. As you can see, that's the theme editor. First of all, you can use this drop down menu to switch between different pages you have in your website. Like you can switch to the product page, the collections page the collections list page, and so on. Now, if you click this icon, you can switch to the mobile version of your Shopify store just to check if your website is also looking great for this type of devices. This Shopify theme is completely responsive, so you don't need to edit your website using this mode. So let's switch back to the desktop version because our editing will also reflect on the mobile version. Now on the left sidebar, we have the store section, which always start at the top with the header, the content of the page, and the footer. Now to start designing our Shopify store, let's start from the top by customizing the announcement bar first. You can use the announcement bar to display important messages or even coupon codes. If you want, you can also link this announcement bar to a specific page in your Shopify store. Now, if you don't want to use this announcement bar, you can simply click this little eye icon to hide it from your store. Okay, next we have the header section. So the first thing you can change here is the position of your desktop logo. Here I will be using the default position. Now to replace this tag, simply click on theme settings to upload your own logo. Once done, go to select image and then go to add images to upload your logo. After that, simply click on done and there you have it. 
Now to increase or decrease the size of your logo, simply use this slider. Once done, go to sections and click on header. Now under the menu settings, click on change and then click on change menu again. After that, pick your new main menu and click select. Now to keep customizing your header, simply scroll down and play around with these settings. Okay, now we'll move on to the next step, which is customizing the content of our Shopify store. So let's start customizing the image with text. Inside this section, we have the main heading. To change the text, simply go to the right sidebar and change the heading size to small. Next, you want to go ahead and change the heading to prepare your customers to a call to action. Once done, select the button. And then on button label, type in a call to action. Once done, go to button link and choose the page where you want to redirect your visitors. Well, sometimes the heading may not be enough to talk about your product. So you can add a little text to explain your customers why they need to buy your product. So click on add block and then here choose text. Okay, now drag and drop the new text under the heading. Okay, now go to the right sidebar and add your additional information. Now under the text style, change it from body to subtitle. Okay, now let's add a main banner image. So click on image with text right here and then on the right sidebar scroll up and then click on select image to upload images from your computer. But if you don't have high quality images, you can click here to go back and click on explore free images to use free stock images from Shopify. Now once you've done that, click on select and there you have it. Now to customize this section a little bit more, you can scroll down and simply play around with these settings. Okay, now let's customize the featured collection. So select it first and then on heading, type in anything you want. For example, I'm going to type in new arrivals. Next, go to heading size and choose any size you want. And then go to collection to select the specific collection you want. Okay, next you can play around with the number of columns for the desktop version. And then you can also scroll down to change the color scheme to any color you want. Later I'll be showing you how you can change these colors individually. Okay, next scroll down to product card and choose any aspect to ratio you want. Now under theme settings, you can change the style of this featured collection to standard. Now to change the color of the sale budget, simply click here and choose any color scheme you want as well. Okay, next you can add more sections in your homepage. So to do that, go to add section and then here you can select the collection list, for example. Now here select the first collection and on the right sidebar, go to select collection. Once done that, select any collection you have in your store and then click select. Okay, now you can basically repeat this process to add as many collections as you want. Okay, now select the whole section and then on the right sidebar, we're gonna change the heading size to small. Okay, now let's add a little bit of spacing between these sections. So let's scroll down and on bottom padding, I'm gonna increase it to almost 100 pixels. Remember that you can always drag and drop your sections to a specific part you want. Okay, now let's create an FAQ section by going to add section and then here search for collapsible content. Now on the right sidebar, you can change these settings. So we will start by changing the heading first by typing in FAQs and then later you can change the heading size and the heading alignment. Now finally on layout, change it to row container to create this beautiful gradient. Once done, simply scroll down to section padding and then here increase the bottom padding. Okay, now let's customize the footer. 
If you don't need this email sign up, you can click here to hide it from your store. If you want, you can also change this email sign up heading by selecting it first. And then on the right sidebar, you can go to heading and type in anything you want. If you want, you can also change the text. Okay, now let's go to the main folder. As you can see, the main folder is empty now. So to add your menu here, click on add block and then click on menu. Okay, now you can click on your footer menu to change the heading. Okay, once done customizing your Shopify store guys, make sure to always hit the save button to save your progress. Next, make sure to check if the other pages of your website are looking awesome. For example, I'll be switching from the home page to the cart page. As you can see, there is no spacing between the main content of this page and the footer section. So to solve this problem, go to add section right here and then here search for rich text. Now inside of your rich text, simply select every element and click on remove block. Ok, once done, simply select your rich text and then scroll down to section padding and increase the bottom padding. Now once done, simply hit save and there you have it. Ok, now let's customize our general theme settings like fonts, colors and so on. So go to theme settings right here. And then here go to checkout. Now go to upload and add your logo. If you want, you can also scroll down and change the colors that will be available at checkout. I'll leave those as it is and I'm gonna click on save. Ok, now let's scroll to the top and click on colors. To build this Shopify store, I use the second color scheme, so I'm gonna click on it to change these colors. Now here, I'm gonna go to background gradient and then here, I'm gonna change this green color. Next, I'll go to background and change it to white. Now to change the fonts, go to typography and then here you can change the heading and the body fonts. Now once you've done customizing your Shopify store, simply click on save and then go back to the main dashboard to configure a few settings then we will be ready to launch our Shopify store. And then on store details, click on edit. On store name, make sure to type in the name of your store and then add more relevant information related to your store. And once done, hit save. Okay, now let's move on to the next step, which is activating payment options. So let's go to payments. If Shopify payment is available in your country, you can click on activate Shopify payments. But if it's not available, you can scroll down and here you can see that you still have the option to accept payments using PayPal. Now to use the different payment options, just click on add payment methods. After that, click on the search bar and search for any payment option you want. Now the third method of adding payment options is by going to payments and clicking on see all other providers. Now from here you can search for payment options like Stripe and so on. Ok now before setting up our shipping methods, we want to go ahead and activate international selling to sell products worldwide. So go to markets and on other markets go to manage. Now from here all you have to do is just changing the market status to active and then click on save. Ok now let's activate our shipping methods by going to shipping and delivery. As you can see by default Shopify create these shipping rates for us. So if you don't want to offer free shipping for your customers you can use these shipping rates. 
Now, if you want to offer free shipping for your customers, you want to go ahead and delete these general shipping rates by clicking on manage. Now here, simply go to these three dots and click on delete. Okay, now go to create zone and on zone name, type in free shipping worldwide. After that, check mark international and then click on done. Okay, now let's click on add rate and on price type in zero dollars and click on done after that simply click on save and there you have it okay now let's add a professional domain to our shopify store by going to domains so the first way of getting a domain is through shopify by clicking on buy new domain now here you can search for your domain name and just click on buy and then shopify will automatically set up the domain for your store now the second way is by using another company to get a $5 domain. So open up a new tab in your browser and then go to proluxer.com slash domain. As you can see here you can get a $5 domain. Now here search for your domain name and then click search. Guys, make sure to get a .com domain for your Shopify store, right? The reason I'm getting a .site is because this video is just an example for you, okay? Now, once done, click on Add to Cart. Click on Checkout. And then here, make sure to turn on Domain Privacy to protect your personal information. Once done, click on Confirm Order and complete your purchase. Okay, once you've got your domain, go to domain list, select your domain and click on manage. After that, go to Shopify, click back and click connect existing domain. Now here type in the domain you have recently bought at Namecheap and click next. Next, click on verify connection to create your DNS details. Okay, now we have to point out these DNS details at our name chip dashboard. As you can see, the first DNS setting is the A record. The name is at sign and the value is this IP address. So copy the IP address, go to name chip, and then click on advanced DNS. Now here, click on add new record and then select a record. On host, type in add sign and then on value, paste in your IP address. Now, once done, check mark this option and go back to your Shopify dashboard. Okay, next we have the C name, which is represented by WW. Here, simply copy this Shopify value and then go to your name cheap dashboard. Now, click on add new record and then here, search for C name. On host, type in www and on value, paste in the Shopify address. Once done, check mark this option and then go back to your Shopify dashboard again. Okay, now click on add and then Shopify will automatically configure the domain for your online store. Okay, at the moment, we're getting this little bite saying that the domain is not connected yet. But the real reason we're getting this little bite is because our DNS settings are still propagating. So allow it at least 30 minutes and then you'll be ready to go. Okay, now let's choose our domain prefix. In this case, I'll be selecting the www prefix. And then go to set as primary. Okay, now click on back and wait at least 30 minutes to complete your domain propagation. Okay guys, 5 minutes later my domain has changed to SSL pending, so I'm gonna click on it and then click on view site. Okay guys, the domain is not working yet, so I'll wait a little bit more. Okay guys, the domain finally started working 7 minutes later, so now it means we can finally open our Shopify store because at the moment it's protected by a password. So let's go back to our main Shopify dashboard. Now go to online store and click preferences. 
Now on home title, make sure to type in the name of your store. After that, go to home page meta description and type in what your store does. Once done, you can scroll down to password protection. And then here you can see that to turn off the password protection, we need to choose a Shopify plan. So before we do that, first you want to click on save and then click on pick a plan. As you can see here, we have three Shopify plans. Now the main differences between these Shopify plans are in the transaction fees. But for those who are just starting out a Shopify store, I always recommend to get a basic plan because it has everything you need to start selling. So here I'm gonna choose the basic plan. If you wanna save up to $120 per year, I generally recommend you to get a yearly cycle because you will be paying like $29 per month. For now, I'll select the monthly cycle and click on confirm. Okay, next you wanna fill in your business address and click save. Okay, on the last step, you want to go ahead and add your credit card details. If you choose a monthly cycle, it's important to know that after your 14-day free trial, you will be only paying $1 for the first month. With that being said, let's click on subscribe, click on no thanks, and there you go. We're finally ready to start selling online. Okay, now let's disable our password protection. So go to online store again and click preferences. Now you can scroll down to password protection and then untick this option and click save. Okay, now click on view store. And as you can see, your online store is now available for everyone on the internet. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video on how you can set up a Shopify store from scratch. Now if you want to learn how you can set up a dropshipping store or a print on demand store, make sure to watch any of these recommended videos. See you there.